Started up a whole firestorm of comments with the stuff I did on the Rolls Royce Corniche yesterday. <laughs> All right, one thing that we talked about was uh, I put some polyfill um, a sound deadener, uh, you know, material uh, in the door. People were like, oh my gosh, that's gonna retain water and rust out your door. I live in Las Vegas. It's hot, it never rains. We get four inches of rain a year and this car will never see any of it. It's 5% humidity here in Vegas. Uh, I will never wash this car, I will wipe it down. It'll stay inside. I'm not worried about any water getting in this door, ever, ever. Okay, so there's that. Let's talk about Las Vegas. It's, uh, it's about 100 degrees outside today. It's going to be 98. Now, we're going to talk about this little phone mount I put in here. Okay. So, um, everybody's losing their minds because I screwed this mount into this bird's eye maple wood. Now, first of all, wood is pretty easy to repair because it's wood. If I wanted to repair this and restore this, let's say 10 years down the line, this car is incredibly valuable. It's worth a million dollars and somebody wanted to restore it. You can get these replacement pieces of wood from other cars that will match pretty close because this piece isn't book match. Bird's eye maple doesn't book match the way Broden Walnut does, if you know what I'm talking about with wood. The screws here are about a sixteenth of an inch. I used really small screws. You could conceivably, if you took this off, put a little wood filler in there, did a light sand on it, uh, colored it, and then re-glossed it. You could fix that wood. And by that time, you would need to refinish this wood anyway. In another 10 or 20 years, you might need to refinish this wood. So it would be really easy to repair. But notice how solid this is, it doesn't move. Now, something I wanna talk about is a lot of people said, why don't you get a, uh, a cigarette lighter plug attachment? This thing, this cigarette lighter barely stays in here, right? This iPhone 15 Pro Max, whatever, this thing is heavy. And um, I've tried every kind of phone mount. Uh, I've tried the suction cup things. They block your vision. They're up here. And um, the problem is if you're driving around here in Las Vegas, your phone will overheat. We've had problems with the iPhone 15 overheating already when you use it. So it, you have very little windshield here. You, you only have about, look, what is this? Like maybe 11, 12 inches of, of usable windshield because it's sloped. It's very small. And when you're driving around with the top down, you know, it's just, it obstructs. Where would I put it? Here, here, here. You know, it's like, there's not an easy place to put it. I'm not gonna mount it on the dash. Somebody said, well, why don't you clamp it here, right in front of your radio or right in front of your thing. And then somebody goes, why don't you get a thing that clips onto the vent? Well, this vent is plastic. This vent is metal, but then you're blocking the vent. There's too much risk of breaking this plastic, which is not easily replaceable. I don't wanna block this vent. Um, next idea was I was going to put a mount and drill it into the transmission tunnel through the carpet, which I've done. Uh, I, I did that. I've done that to a lot of different cars because the little holes in the, in the steel, the transmission tunnel under the carpet, you'll never know that are there. But then, um, when you have the, the big mount shaft coming up here, it's kind of in the way of the knees of the person sitting here. It's just in the way. Okay, what about 3M double-sided tape? Well, we gotta go back to the Las Vegas thing. It's very hot here. I have tried every type of VHB tape, every type of 3M tape, no matter what intensity, it does not work in Vegas. The inside of a temperature of a car, if I take this car, let's say I go to the mall, I park this thing in the garage, or I go to the grocery store, the internal temperature of these cars can get over 150 degrees like that. <coughs> so I've tried every type of double-sided tape and it just won't stick. Now, if I had to use the glue, a glue would be much more harmful than putting the screws into the wood because you can easily feel those screws. Uh, anybody who does wood repair will tell you 
you can go in and you can uh, you can fix this and repair this wood and color it and gloss it again. Never know that anything ever happened to it. You should see what they do when they re-veneer these. You could put another piece of bird's eye maple veneer over it. Nobody would ever know. And that's a small little piece of wood. It's not the glove box. It's not right in your visual eye. And first of all, this is never going to come out. Look how I can shake the whole car. That's how strong this is mounted on there. And um, it's in the perfect spot. Like right now I have a battery pack on the back of the phone. Let me take it off. Okay. I usually keep this uh, uh, battery pack mounted. It's ma magnetically attached to the phone. But if I just stick that there, okay, that's how it, and that thing sticks really tight. Okay. That's basically where the phone is, which is absolutely perfect. After I did the mount, I went for a ride last night for about a couple hours. I popped the top, cruised up and down Las Vegas Boulevard, had the air conditioner on, had the stereo on. This cord unobtrusively goes right up in there like that. And uh, I was listening to Sirius XM and music on my phone. And here's my argument. My argument is that phones are now a part of our lives. They weren't when they built these cars, but the phone is not a fad, the device. I don't know if we'll ever go to something like an implant or, or virtual glasses or, you know, what will the future hold? You know, they've tried to bring in, you know, Google Glass and other types of uh, glasses and things like that. But I think that the tablet device that is in the general shape of a Pop-Tart is going to be the thing moving forward. I mean... Wristwatches haven't changed much in the last however long, right? Even if you get an Apple Watch, it's still on your wrist. There's just certain shit that's never going to change. I mean, people have been wearing necklaces for thousands of years. All right? Suspenders, belts. <clears throat> so, it's my opinion that the phone device is just going to be something, at least for the next 20 years that I'm alive or whatever, and that I own this car... I feel confident that I'm going to have some sort of device I'm going to put here that's going to work with this radio. The radio, by the way, is a Blaupont Frankfurter replica. It's made by Blaupont, which who knows, you know, they just make this stuff in China. It's a replica of one of their old cassette decks that would have been found in one of their, well, like a Porsche or an Audi. I don't know what kind of car it was. But it's, the reason I wanted this radio, it was almost a $500 radio. It's Bluetooth, streams directly from the phone, USB, MP3. Um, the little door flips up and you have a SD card, USB, and an aux input, right? <clears throat> but it also will let you adjust the color scheme to match exactly your dash. You can go through the RGB of it, and um, if I turn the uh, radio on, you'll notice that the blue here, I've tuned, turn it down. I've adjusted this bluish green to match exactly the digital dash above. It's perfect. And you can make it any color you want. Orange, red, green, blue, white. You can adjust its how dim or bright it is. That function alone is what made me pick this radio. That's why I paid so much for it. Because you can buy you know, a decent streaming radio for 50 bucks. You know, But look how good it looks. It looks factory for a 1985 car. This is probably a little modern for 1985, but it just looks clean and factory. And it has a knob on it and it works and it has a lot of functions, everything you would need it to do. But it just, it just matches. It's got the same digital type of lettering, you know? So that's, that's what it was about for me. <clears throat> um, it says goodbye. Look at it. So I'm, I'm very happy with my phone mount, uh, despite all the different criticisms. Um, following up with the speakers, you know, I'm very limited with the space of the speakers. So the, I've got a couple of ideas I'm considering. <clears throat> I think that I'm gonna abandon having the speakers in the door or I may just double them. Um, I think the only thing that might work is, it depends on this brake lever down here. I might try to put some, have some custom pods made that I could fit six inch speakers into the kick wells down here, right? 
put a speaker into that well there. I'm pretty sure there's electronics and things behind here. I'm not sure what's in that area. But your feet go there, so that's an issue. But if I'm going to see what I can, what's behind here. And if I can fit a five or six inch speaker there. Because uh, I don't want to lose the bar. The bar is just pretty cool. I don't want to get rid of my bar. And so you're limited to that three inch little speaker there. And it just doesn't put out enough sound. So I think the trick is going to be because of the preamp and other outputs on the back of this radio. The trick would be to put in an additional small amplifier and then put in some kick speakers there. My garage is closing. Hold on. Turn that off. And, uh, you know, my, like my buddy Eric said, why don't you put a, a, a bass amp into the trunk? I don't know if I'm gonna do that. The, the way that these, um, why is my seat working? This thing, it's not opening? Okay. It's a little loose, look how loose it is. It's obviously loose, I need to tighten it. But um, you're limited to the speakers you can put in the back. So there's only so much you can do. So I just wanted to address some of these common things that people talk about. The, the main thing is that I live in Las Vegas, as I've said before, temperatures get throughout the summer months, 115 to 120 degrees. Inside the car, it can reach 180 degrees. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna take this down to the tent shop and I'm gonna have them put the UV blocking ceramic tent on all the windows, including the windshield, that will help keep light out. There's nothing you can do about this plastic window in the back. But at least it'll help keep, you know, when you're driving down the road and you've got the window up, It'll prevent the sun from melting your face off while you're going down the road. There's that. Um, but I, I want to daily drive this car as much as possible, and it's it's a totally doable thing to do that. Uh, the car, you know, runs and drives perfectly. Air conditioning is good. Also, I wanted to mention that the position of the phone on that mount where the air is, the air is blowing on the back of the phone and keeping it cool because when you're playing Sirius XM and things, the screen is on the entire time. And the iPhone 15 has a tendency to overheat. The air conditioner is slightly blowing on the back of the phone as it's also blowing on the passenger keeps the phone cool. Having it in that position also, if you put it up high in the windshield, sun shining on the phone, shut down the phone. It'll overheat the phone. You know, what I've been doing all this time is I just, it's just been flopping around. I've been like laying it here, you know, laying it here, laying it on there, you know, but when you're trying to use maps navigation or look at the phone, it was quite a delight to have it right here in my line of sight. And I could scroll, pick songs, you know, answer the phone, stop at a light, check your messages. Everybody does it. Don't act like you don't. Everybody checks their phone at the stoplight. Everybody does. I'm no different. So light stopped. I look, oh, let's see if there's see what my comments are, whatever, check my messages, somebody's texting me, scroll, 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 it's right here where the radio is, right here, it's convenient. It was worth it to me, it was worth it 100%. And as I said in my live video, if you watch the uh, Bob's Prop Shop live webcam that we had, I said this last night when I was ta talking to the audience, I said, you know, I'm going to probably keep this car till I'm dead, and uh, who gives a shit what happens to the new owner who buys my car? Fuck them. Second of all, if I do decide to sell this car, there's gonna be nobody who comes to look at it and goes, oh, well, they put a phone mount here, I'm not buying it. No, you're gonna buy the car and go, wow, this is great, I have a place to put my phone. What a great stereo. I can plug my iPhone in and stream directly to the phone, to the car, and I, it's great. Who's gonna complain? So, um, this is not a million dollar car that was owned by James Dean. I bought this car for 40 grand. Uh, it's a nice car. Um, and who gives a shit? It's my car. I can do whatever I want, but just, to satisfy everybody, I hope I satisfied everybody's questions about the foam, about the polyfill that I put in the door. Because it was rattling, it needed some backfill. I left enough gap to create a little bit of back pressure space for the speaker. I know people, there's a bunch of fucking audio, audio acoustic engineers watching, trying to tell me how I can get the best sound out of a three-inch speaker that's laying in the bottom of a door. So... 
Uh, I'm not worried about water or moisture in a 5% humidity. I live in Death Valley. <laughs> I live in the desert. This car will never get wet, ever. I'm never gonna drive it in the rain. I'm never gonna use these windshield wipers. I'm not gonna put the wipers back on the front of the, the headlights. It's never gonna happen. I'm gonna wipe it off with a cloth and some, some uh, quick detail wash. That's it. It's never gonna go through a car wash. It's never gonna be driven in the rain. It's never gonna be in the snow. It's never gonna get wet ever again. <laughs> Do you understand? Because <laughs> I live where? In Las Vegas, in Death Valley, in the desert, where it's over 100 degrees a lot of the time. Welcome to my world. It's really not that bad. It's a, it's a dry heat. I hope that answered everybody's questions. More videos for Rolls Royce is coming up. I'll be working on the Rolls Royce 1967 Silver Shadow, of which I will not be doing any modifications to it. I will not be drilling into anything. I'll be putting it back to all its original state. Okay? Not to worry. All right, resume. Back to our regular scheduled programming. Mm -hmm.